it's the everything girl today I'm gonna be reviewing yet another book but before we get started I'm gonna ask you how was last week's book reading I hope you liked it as much as my brother did he was really excited now let's go on to today's book review the book I'm gonna be reviewing is Orphan Island by Laurel Schneider this book is about nine kids on an island. Every year, a boat comes and the oldest person on the island has to get on the boat and a child, who is the youngest, gets out of the boat. Every year, it's alternating. One year, a boy might come and one year, a girl might come. There are four characters. Like, there are four main characters, Ginny, Dean, S, and Lou. After first, what happens is that Dean is the oldest, so he leaves. He gets on the boat, and who comes out? S. And now that, and now that Dean's left, Ginny is the oldest, so it's her job to take care of S. She, uh, throughout the book, she takes care of S and teaches her about everything. And um, next, and in the next year, the year passes, and now it's time for Ginny to get on the boat and for a new kid to come along. But then things change. Ginny doesn't want to get off the boat, and and then she doesn't get on the boat, and the kid who is supposed to be in the supposed to be on the island gets on, and now there are ten kids on the island. That's not supposed to happen. It's against the rules for that to happen. Then, when things take a turn for the worse, Ginny has to decide what she has to do, leave or stay. Read the book to find out what happens to Ginny. You should read this book because though it's a little sad, there's always hope at the end of the tunnel. And um, I think it's a different approach to a storybook, and that's why I think you should read this book. Also, it has a Longlist National Book Award. That's it for today's book review. Be sure to click the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. It's the Everything Girl. See you next week. Bye!